Hello everyone. In this video, let's learn how to set up code GPT in our VS code. Along with this, we can understand how to generate the code, how to ask to explain the code, how to refactor the code, and how to write the test cases as well. So many more things we can learn. So let's get started. So in the VS code, first go to the extensions. In the extensions, search for the code GPT. So this is the extension we are going to take. And uh, in that extension, so let me show you. This is the one we need to check. So I will click this. Use the official open AAP inside VS Code. So this is the one we are going to use, chat GPT. Okay, and I already have installed. So I am getting this disable and uninstall. If you're not installing, if this is the first time, you'll be getting an install button here. You can install that. So this is the first step. And the second step is we need to have, see here they have said, we need to have an API key. We need to integrate the API key for the VS code. So that, that is a simple thing. So let's go here. So this is the one platform.openai.com. So you can log in with your Gmail or any of other things. And here you go to the view API keys. So if you click there in the view API keys, you will be getting to here. And here you need to create a new secret key. You can give any of the name. So I have given the name as API key for the VS code. And once you create that secret key, you need to copy this key, okay? This key is important. So this key is what we are going to set in the VS code. Once you copy this key, go back to this VS code and uh, I'm sure I will show you how to do that. Control shift P, control shift P. I will show you that as well. So this is what you need to search, code GPT. So once you, so install the code GPT extension and create the API key in the open AI. So come here. So here you can see code GPT if you search. So you'll be getting a number of things like this. Under that, you need to go for set API key. If you click this, it will ask to paste that. So once you paste it and once you trigger enter, okay, that API key would be set for you. Okay. And this is what the uh, second step. Now you have generated the key and you have set that in your VS code. Now we are good to go. Let's see that how to use this in the index.js file. So I am writing a comment. So to open that, so I will uh, here, what you need to do is you write anything like it will generate you the code. First thing what we'll do is like how to generate the code. So let me show you how generate a function for UUID in JavaScript. So this is what I wrote. And at the end of this comment, this cursor will be there. Then you need to press Command Shift I. So if you are in the Windows, you need to click Control Shift I. If it is a Mac, Command Shift I. So now you can find here the code GPT is thinking. Yes, it has generated the code. It will be opening in a new window like this and now it can it has generated the code for us let me copy this i'm keeping the code here yep so this is a code for generating the uuid right so th this is how you can easily generate the code so now you have generated the code so if you want to understand this code base so let me remove this tab if you want to understand that code base uh, You can select this code base, right click. You can have a number of options like this. Ask code GPT, explain code GPT. So this is the one you need to click, okay? And now if you click explain code GPT, so it will explain you the code. So for that, so let me open this. So this is what, before explaining, click ask code GPT. So you will be getting, so this tab. So it's like the same chat bot. Uh, whatever we ask in the open AA, so the same will be coming here. So now if you right click and if you ask to explain the code GPT, it will take this code and it will explain you the code. See what this function is doing. Everything, each line by line, it is going to explain you the code. So the first way is like you can generate the code as I have shown with the comment. And the second way is once the code is generated, if you want to understand it in detail, you can select that code right click and ask explaining the code it is it will explain you in detail and if you feel this is not good enough 
you can right click and you can ask for the refactoring so see there are many lines to do here so you are asking to refactor your code so now see how it refactors so let's see here so with a simple code base how it refactors so this is how it is going to refactor you the code see this is a simple lines you can just copy and you can replace the code instead of this you can use now this one so this is how you can easily refactor your code as well fine we have seen generating the code explaining the code and refactoring the code also you can if you want this code base so see uh, convert into python so just i'm writing this so now if you ask here so this code base will be converted into the python the generating uid now you can use this code base as well so like this you can use this open chat jpt and you can chat here and you can understand what exactly you wanted here and also you can write the test cases so i have highlighted it and now i'm right clicked and i'm seeing for the unit test code gpt code gpt if i select this see it will write the test cases for you what all the different test cases you can see so this would be super helpful for us writing the test cases is the more time we spend and this is going to help us it will be giving you a high level understanding of how to write how to start with the test cases so this is how the test cases are there fine this is how, how to write the test case and also you have a number of things if you want the document okay uh, let me go back to this another file so if you want to explain this code or if you need some document to this code i'm right click and here you have an option of document code gpt so now it will write the document for this so line by line what you are doing so it will also give you the documentation so in our applications most of the applications you will you can ask like package json file like this you will be having right you can right click and you can ask for the document also and also you can see there are a number of other options like you can find the problem so you can ask find the problems so it will also check what all the problems you have okay to get this window you need to select ask code gpt if you click this you will be coming here okay if if you go on to go back you can click this explorer if you want to come here you can click this so let me write the comments which we have used so you need to make sure that when you ask a question when you are generating the cursor should be in the comment line okay and then you need to press command plus shift plus i this is a command you need to press to generate the code okay and uh, command shift p this is to have this settings so not only these settings so you will be having a number of settings like this so let me show you when i'm when i'm going to this code so here you can see the sorry here it is not there so let's see the settings so i'm showing you the settings part here in the settings command shift to p you will be getting and here in the settings you search for code gpt and here inside this code gpt you have these many options see you are using an api key for open ai okay if you want the other providers you can select the other providers but we have selected open we have generated the key for open ai right so that's the reason we have set that for open ai and which model you want so if you have this model idea okay like uh, which uh, aa models you wanted to use you can select that as well so but now i'm just keeping everything as an uh, default default options okay so this temperature is like the creativity it starts from 0 to 1 uh, by default its value is 0 0.3 if you want to have the more creative answers from the chat gpt you can increase it to 1 so then you will be getting more creative answers so this is what all about including this chat gpt in our application in a vs code and we can take the help of this in various ways like generating explaining refactoring writing test cases writing the readme files writing the documentation and number of ways we can see this uh hope you understand this video and we have this channel like rethinking us so you can have a number of uh, videos like this related to the front end stuff so please watch it once if you like the videos subscribe to the channel thanks for watching